So in terms of financial planning for the gallery, that really kind of grew and developed out of the experience that I've had, not only from running Switchbase, but from being involved in managing different projects. Um, before that, obviously with Switchbase it was a charity, we had Arts Council and City Council support. So on an annual basis there was accounts that had to be delivered, applications that had to be put in. So obviously that whole experience of how to write an application, how to financially forecast and budget for a project really grew out of experience. Obviously being um, uh, an artist as well and being someone who's employed as a community artist, I was self-employed, I had to kind of manage my own accounts. So obviously I was having different ways of experiencing how to um, keep on top of finances, if you, if you like. Um, so in terms of the gallery, obviously, going from something that is an artist-run space, it was generally supported by public funds and also through fundraising and donations as well. So from going from something that was very kind of low-fi, very artist-run, to running a commercial gallery, it's, very, it's a very sort of big jump in a way. They can't operate on the same terms. It's a more professional way of working. Um, just everything needs to be pitched very differently. So the way I sort of planned my, my financial forecasts or developed that whole idea around what I needed in terms of to grow and develop this business really came from actually speaking to a lot of different people, independent people, people who are running their own galleries who have different experience and I think um, that's the big strength of the arts community in Glasgow, that kind of network of support um, and being able to phone up people and ask their advice. Maybe some of it was more useful than others but it made me become clearer on what I did want to do and how I did, because obviously I don't want to do it as I've, anyone's done it previously, I want to, to do it in my own way and it's almost kind of extracting the information that you need that can help you to achieve that. Um, obviously I also have um, a lawyer and, a, and an accountant that I used previously in the switch base who've obviously been involved in the, the planning of the, the business as well. In terms of um, a business plan though, obviously the way that the gallery's been operating, there's been certain projects I've wanted to seek public support for, for from the City Council or the Arts Council. So to put a business plan into them is obviously going to be very different from the business plan that I'll put into my bank or into Business Gateway. So it's almost to have um, a general business plan but something you can adapt as and when necessary for the right sort of funding or the right people you're, you're applying to. So obviously the bank wanted much more financial forecasts and how it would financially operate whereas the Arts Council want more of the creative vision behind why you're setting up or running that business. So I think for me, to setting up the business plan was something that, you know, I did go to Business Gateway, had to look at other plans, but it was very much just really sit, sort of sitting down and figuring out how I, what I wanted to do with the business. Obviously, after speaking to so many people, I had that all information that I was just bringing together and just putting down points of, of what I wanted to do and how I wanted it to sort of grow and develop around that.